Yo, what's up, guys? I'm back on a review here. This time we have this 98 rated Didier Drogba. Now, I was actually lucky enough to pack him out of my first pack since the uh, batch came out on Friday. I was like, oh my god. But, 6 foot 2, high, high work rates, 4 star skills, 5 star weak foot. Now, alternative position can play the striker and the centre foot, so it has no variety. But it's Drogba, so it doesn't matter. 97 pace, 99 shooting, 90 passing, 93 dribbling, and the 99 physicals on paper just looks stupidly good. Now, playstyle-wise has obviously a lot of nice playstyles. Got finesse, chip shot, he's got power shot plus, got power header, also got tiki Taka plus, bruiser, press proven, aerial plus, first touch, relentless, and obviously the main one, rapid plus. Now, if you do enjoy the video or want to see more, please do subscribe. It generally does mean a lot to my channel and I see after positive natives. Peace. Now, I know it's a little bit of a shorter review to my normal ones. I have normally like 25, 30 clips on most of them. But, obviously, I'm not actually playing the game as much. It's August now. I kind of want to have a little bit of a chill-out time until a new FIFA. So, I do apologise if there's not as many as you normally expect. But, let's get into this card. 4-star skills, 5-star weaver. The 4-star skills, obviously, you don't need a 5-star skills on Drogba. You're not going to be doing these elasticos with him. He hasn't got the technical. He's not really got the agility to be doing that kind of stuff. But, Obviously, that's just enough to do twisting and turn these plays and obviously play it off with Tiki Taka. But that five star week four is incredible with the finesses, the power shots. Overall, just absolutely insane on both feet. He's got a cannon of a left foot, cannon of a right foot, and you'd expect so in 99 finishing, 99 shot power. Now, the pace, one of, if not the fastest card I've used this year. I know it says 97, but it is 99. You've watched some of these clips in blitzing like Van Dyke with ease. Like, I'm not even talking it was a close foot race. With ease, and that rapid plus is definitely taken to part of a lot of that stupidly good card with the pace that but. Next to me, like I've already mentioned, there's a shooting, left foot, right foot, finesse, power shot. It doesn't really matter. This card will score it. Now, another thing he does have is really high volleys and long shots. So you can also have fun with him with like flick up power shots on the edge of the box. Or obviously, if you just want to whack it one, you can also do that as well. Now, although his passing isn't amazing in terms of stats, he does have Tiki Taka Plus, which definitely does help him massively. Because if he didn't have it, he would struggle just like most of the big men do to pass it. Obviously, Haaland, that's his main issue passing. But this drug has Tiki Taka to keep it between him and another striker, and it's very, very nice to bounce between. Now, although 6 foot 2 with no technical, he doesn't actually move that on Agile in game. Maybe it's because I have the engine chemtail on him as well. 
But very nimble for a six foot two big man. And obviously you can get into these tight gaps when you do utilize that rapid and then obviously utilize that press proven as well. Now, the composure, the reactions, the ball control, all perfect on this card. I don't even need to say much about them. They're all amazing, especially for a guy this stature. But this is where the car comes in his own. 99 jumping, 99 stamina, 99 strength, 99 head naxi. Aerial plus. What more needs to be said? I don't think anything. He is so stupidly good in the air. So stupidly good at holding onto the ball. He is just a beast. And it's going to be one of the most stupid cards for the rest of the year. Honestly, I'm going to say something out of the blue. I think he's honestly at the same level as that 99 Haaland. I think they're very, very similar level cards because of how good this Drogba card is overall. I know obviously Haaland's got the press proven as well to help him plus, but this Drogba card for a big man is absolutely insane. So on to my overall scores now. If you don't know how segment works, I pretty much rank each individual stat a score out of 10 and I also give him an overall score and a value for Queen just so you get a little bit more in detail on the card. Now, first we need to go to the pace. It's a 10 out of 10. I don't even think I need to do any explanation. I've already explained that you can already see in the clips. He is just stupidly electrically fast. And I know he doesn't have quick step as well. But he just takes off like a rocket even without it. I don't know what it is. This card is just insanely fast. Now, next of me is going to be shooting. Um, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10. Obviously, it's a 10 out of 10. Power Job Plus is amazing. Normal Finesse is just like Finesse Plus in this card. Stupidly good composure. Stupidly good finishing. He's absolutely deadly when he gets in front of that goal. Now, the passing for me, I'm going to give it 8 out of 10. With these stats normally at this stage of the game, I would honestly give it more like a 5, 6. But, like I said, that tiki tacker on the short range passing is very nice. I wouldn't recommend you trying like through balls and stuff like that. Just keep it simple and it is really, really effective. Now, the tuning for me overall, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Because he has no technical and not really the amazing stats overall. He doesn't really feel that on Agile at all. I know he's only 6 foot 2, which isn't as tall as like, the Harlands, the Veg Horses. But he is still a big man as such, so you would expect him to move a little bit slower than the like six foot cards, the five foot eight cards. But he doesn't really turn that bad at all. Now the physical attributes to me obviously is the ten out of ten. All these are stupidly good. He's insane in the air, insane at pushing people off, especially with that bruise as well. This card overall just has the wow factor. But overall score and value of coins then. So value of coins first. I'm going to give this card value of coins ten out of ten. I don't think you need to do an explanation. Obviously, it's like two and a half million, which is very expensive. But this card is worth every single penny of that. In my opinion, he's top two, if not top one big man in the game. I just think this card's so stupidly good. So, overall score for me then. This is this is going to be a first. This is my first 10 out of 10 of the year. I don't think I'm going to get a card as good as this for the, the role he plays. Obviously, you can have like a Dino or an R9, which plays a different kind of role on your team. But... The role that he plays as a big man, which obviously has a lot of pace, a lot of physical attributes, he's just unbeatable. You can't stop this guy when he goes through on goal, and that is exactly why he's, I've given him the score he has. But that's all for my review. As always, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do subscribe. Like I said at the start, it really does mean a lot to my channel. But I've got nothing more to say, so I'll see you in the next video, and peace out, guys.